Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I want to share this really fun bee skip with you. Uh, many do call it a beehive. Beehive, uh, to my understanding, is basically what the bees make. This is a man-made item called a bee skip. And a couple things. One is I'm going to show you how you can make your own just so you can learn that process with me in Silhouette Studio. But also, I am giving you this one, this design free, and I will give you links under this video on how you can get your own SVG for this. So the basic construction of this is these sort of ellipse here. And if you come over here to this drawing tool and select the rounded rectangle, then click and drag. This is what you come up with. Now I'm going to move this out of our way so we can see better. Now when I click this, you see these red dots. If I pull just one of them, it only uh, flattens or rounds one of those. Now I'm going to reverse this. Now if I click that and hit shift while I'm doing that, you see how it makes it a beautiful rounded end right here. And this is what we're using to make these. Let me click this again. You'll notice this square here and the square here. This will lengthen and shorten. This will shorten and elongate that. So you can change the height, you can change the width. And so that is how we make all of these. So you see here, if I bring this down, bring that in, that's about the size of that one. So I made seven of these, but you will notice seven layers that the bottom layer and the top layer are narrower or not as tall, I should say. These ones are all pretty uniform, these layers right here. And I go out, these two are the same, and then I come back in, and these, the top and bottom, are very narrow. So if you had a series of these, now I have drawn already a series. I'm going to highlighting and dragging. And I didn't do as many layers on this one, but I just want to show you how to get these lined up right. We want perfect spaces in between each one. So if we highlight that and come over here to the transform window, and first of all, we want to align these horizontally, in other words, left and right, so they're all centered perfectly here. But you notice my gap here is bigger than my gap here. So if we highlight those and tell it to align it vertically, what it does is it chooses the top one and the bottom one as our references, and then it lines all of these up in between those with perfect gaps. So now we can highlight and group those. They won't move around. So now we can move them as one piece. So that is how you do that. Now I do want to highlight this, choose the color here, and select this so that we can see it a little better. Now the next thing you want to do is to make our background, which is, as you see, is this uh, darker color here. So I'm going to click this, and I'm going to hit this, which is the Offset panel. Select Offset, and by default it's a pretty thick line, but if I come down here, I can either move this bar here and make it thicker and thinner, or I can control it by hitting this line right here and arrowing it up. There's a little lag in the system right now. Let's say apply. Now I can pull this out and let's go ahead and move this aside. Pull this in and let's get this little doorway here. So I want to grab this ellipse here. Make that about the size and shape that I want. Make sure that's good. Now, if you imagine a line across the middle here, don't put that line farther up than the bottom of this V-skip, or what's going to happen is your opening is going to round again at the bottom. And also look at the top here and see, is it going to be right in the middle of those lines or lower down? I'm going to come back over, grab the transform panel, align it left and right, and then I'm going to grab this one here, which is the Modify panel, and say Divide. And I can pull all of these pieces off. And also when I've done this, it, uh, when I do that, I have to group them together again. Now I have this, which is beautiful. I want to grab, let's get rid of all these first. 
I'm going to grab two panels open here, and that is the fill panel and uh, the line one. So for the line, I want this one to match the color it already is. This one, I'm going to make that a darker orange with a darker orange line. And that is the result right there. So they're not perfectly identical, but they're very fun. So what I want to tell you, first of all, I am operating in Business Edition. You won't see everything, every tool I have here on your edition. I will give you a link down below to the Business Edition. And I want you to know that this one here, this is a free file. This one on the left, I will give you a link on how to get your free file. But I also want to show you how to make your own because it's just so fun and relaxing. And make sure you look at those links down below. Do not share this file with others. If others want the file themselves, please send them to this video or to my blog. And I will also give you a link on how to upgrade yours to the business edition if you so desire. Thank you for watching and for all your support.